it's very hard to know what's inside a black hole. We basically know about what happens outside the black hole as you approach its event horizon, what we generally consider the surface of the black hole, or a region around the black hole where almost nothing can escape. But remember, this region is not a physical boundary. It's just a particular distance from the singularity, the distance where if you fall below this threshold, you can't get out. At the event horizon, the escape velocity exceeds the speed of light, so the matter that goes past the point of no return can't escape the black hole. But scientists around the globe are eager to know what happens after the matter falls in and what's inside a black hole. The theory of gravity, for example, tells us that once the hydrogen from a collapsed star falls in, it gets squeezed into a singularity at the center, and it's certainly not hydrogen anymore. At the center of a black hole lies a gravitational singularity, a one-dimensional point which contains a huge mass in an infinitely small space, where density and gravity become infinite and space-time curves infinitely. At this point, the laws of physics as we know them cease to operate. However, this is just a theory. Some say that the singularity is a whole surface inside the event horizon, but it could also be that singularities don't even exist. But there could be something on the other side of a black hole, and that is a wormhole which is theoretically possible given the right conditions. There's a hypothesis that at the other end of a black hole, there's a white hole. While a black hole sucks in the matter, a white hole spits out the matter and light absorbed by the black hole. The tunnel that links the entry point and the exit point is called a wormhole.